Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. We're here, ready to use some of our Pokemon in a battle. Um, my opponent has brought some Ubers, but I think we might still be fine if we can play around some of these. Uh, the biggest threat is, of course, Coridon and Muridon. Um, yeah, I think... I need to get rid of Shiyu before I can do any shenanigans with with weather. But I like the idea of leading Quillfish. Because <clears throat> then I can start setting up some hazards. I think that's a good, good lead. A good idea. And if my opponent leads off with one of those scary mons, I could just throw a Toxic at it. However, Maridon, I do not want to sit while that thing's out here. <clears throat> so I would have to heart switch if that thing shows up. Other than that, Calibre. Okay, I should be fine here. We have a nice Intimidate. Nice. Let me double check. Do you have any poisons? You have no poison types. So I can get two Toxic Spikes pretty easily here. Right, Dragon Claw, I should be able to take that. I tank that perfectly. All right, Quillfish <clears throat> out here showing its wonderfulness in competitive. We get two Toxic Spikes. Whenever our opponent hops out here, we're going to see a badly poison. Oh, Future Dawn. Oh, hello, hello. Alright, I will switch at this point. Oof. Yeah, I will have to switch. This thing is super scary. Go into my chestnut. New thing about chestnut. It is a pretty bulky Pokemon, so it should... I don't know. It sh hopefully, we'll take one hit. I don't know. Rhydon's one of those Pokemon I haven't seen in competitive that much. But I like the idea of going Chestnut here. Getting some... I don't know. Some health back with Leech Seed, maybe. Ooh, Thunder. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's terrible. Um... We do have Spiky Shield, which is nice. <clears throat> so above all, I should get a little bit of health back. Draco Meteor. I don't have anything that could tank that, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'll throw a Leech Seed. I, I think we go down here. Yeah. Alright, but we do see a stat drop on Maridon. So, I think... We'll go Torkoal. Get the temperature up. And then maybe we can do something with Sawsbuck. I think that's what we have to do. We're going to have to rely on Sawsbuck coming out and doing a lot of work for us. Alright, we'll throw a uh, flamethrower. Power jam. This thing's going to hurt. Alright, but we get some chip damage. Yeah, that's Really all that we need right now. The electricity is finally gone, which is nice. Alright, Thunder. In this weather, you still connect with Thunder? Alright, unfortunately we're fully paralyzed. I mean, unfortunately we have a chance to become fully paralyzed. Alright, but we did some... Torco actually did pretty well here. Now, I do think I would like to switch. Just so I, I can ensure that I have the sun. Of course, Maridon would set up the sun for us. Uh-huh. 
badly poison. I don't have any protect or anything like that. Um, but I can go here with Quillfish and Intimidate. I actually like that idea. Get the Intimidate. Maybe set up a few more spikes? I don't know. Intimidate is really nice. You're going to go for a fighting type move. Oh, Giga Impact. Okay. We take one. That This is free. This is free right now. This is so free. We just set up spikes here. We just set up the spikes. Yeah, we just set up spikes here. We get... We break any sashes that might be on the opponent's side. And that also helps out when it comes to the toxic poison. That was free. That was free for us. I'm just try to get these spikes going. Try to get more spikes. You've already seen how much that does. You just give us free reign of spikes here. If we get three sp spikes, that's like full spikes. You're giving us full spikes, buddy. Right, I think I can do one more spikes. No, spikes. Alright. We get three spikes. <clears throat> so now... Any switch in is going to take a ton of damage. And not only that, any switch in is going to take a ton of damage from the poison, too. So we are in such a good position here. Even though our opponent has brought Ubers, we're still able to come in and do a lot of work. I'm going to Aquatel here. Just let us go down. Oh, you're going Collision Course? He went collision course. Why did you go collision course there? <clears throat> Alright. Does the toxic do the job? Almost. Next turn, toxic will do the job. I'm not switching into Typhlosion, even though collision course is likely. I don't want to get caught off guard. Now, Typhlosion would have been, honestly, a decent switch-in right there. But I, I didn't want to risk it because if my opponent switched it up and what other moves does this thing have? Could have Crunch or something, and that would have, that would have rendered my uh, plan really tough. Um, I can go into Torkoal, set things back up for Sawsbuck. I think, honestly, though, I want to go Dragon Knight, and then Sawsbuck and Typhlosion can come back out later to get support from Torkoal. I think we'll go Dragon Knight here. Let's see. I should be able to take one Ice-type move. Do I go Dragon Dance here? Do I D-Dance? Dragon Dance. I go for it. I go for it. I've got multi-scale. I've got multi-scale. Dragonite, you can do this. Got Dragon Claw instead. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let me double check. What should I lock myself in? Outrage looks fine. Outrage looks amazing. I think I want to do that. Yeah, we're just going to walk ourselves into Outrage. Here we go. Let's get a big chunk of damage on the opponent's team. Let's just take out a big chunk of their team right here. I think like Team Luke could come out and probably tank a hit. But it's not going to take Dragonite out that easily. I'm going to take a few turns of... You know, trying to do something to Dragonite before Dragonite would go down. And by then, Ting Lu would already be pretty low on health. 
Here we go. Outrage. Oh, yeah. There is the confusion. Stone Edge. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. And Ting Lu goes down to the poison. Nice. That toxic poison really helping out. Our opponent just let us set that up for free. So we are we are doing so good. Here's Shin Po. Hmm. I think an extreme speed would be fine. Actually thinking about it, let's keep Dragonite a little bit longer and let's send Torkoal out to set things up. Let's set, let's let Torkoal set things up for the uh, final bit of the battle. Because extreme speed would actually be pretty nice, whether I have a D-Dance up or not. Alright, Torco. Just go ahead, Flamethrower. The mash was forfeited. Nice. We didn't get to have our Typhlosion time. But you can see, even though our opponent brought in some legendaries, they brought Moridon and Coridon, who are the two big box legendaries of this generation. And we were still able to come in and finish them off. Anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next Pokemon video.